is a board that is not on your deck. And I and that's the encouraging all my colleagues for the, uh, for the patients. I uh, will not just read the audit report, but the report does from time to time, rightly so. Uh, but in fact, uh, I think mean, given the nature and the importance of this uh, motion and subject matter, it requires me to read the entire motion. Whereas since July 2009, an interim board of entry and quorum has been located on Brookdale Avenue at the north end of the north span of the Seaway International Bridge. And whereas the Government of Canada, in particular the Canada Border Services Agency, CBSA, I've been exploring various options towards selecting a permanent port of entry location, and whereas last week the Government of Canada issued in the quote unquote Perimeter Security and Economic Competitiveness Action Plan, end of quote, which outlines the Canada Border Services Agency will conduct full pre clearance of goods and travelers at Messina, New York. Negotiations at this end will be completed by December 2012. And whereas the City of Cornwall has not been formally advised of any final decision regarding the location of a permanent port of entry, nor has it been consulted with respect to providing input on the final location. And whereas the smuggling of goods and or people has been a major concern in our area for a number of years, and the potential for the port of entry being located on the American side of the border could lead to increased risk of additional, opportunity, of additional opportunities for illegal activity. And whereas recently, the Port of Community Police Services Board has adopted a motion requesting a meeting with federal government officials on smuggling related activities. Therefore, be it resolved, the City Council requested a meeting with Mr. Gibbles, a member of Parliament, and appropriate Government of Canada officials in order to be updated on the status of this site selection for a new permanent port of entry location, and that the City be provided with an opportunity to express its concerns on how an American location could have a considerable negative impact on municipal law enforcement activities related to smuggling activity. Thank you, Mr. Acting Mayor. Yeah. I take my Seconded second. Seconded by Councillor Grant. I'm ready to second. I'm ready to second. You're saying that? Sorry. Sorry. You wanted to speak? Definitely. Thank you. Uh, I support uh, part of the therefore bit of resolve, which is, but I can't support the last part of it, which is, and the city be provided an opportunity to express its concern on how an American location could have considerable negative impact on municipal law enforcement activities related to smuggling activities. We don't have that information. We don't know that. But, I mean, the federal body, police body, is the RCMP who are major. They 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 lead this uh, smuggling activity, and if they didn't think it would be a good idea. They wouldn't be in the negotiations right now. So I, I we're making a major assumption here, and saying that we we are saying that it's going to have a negative impact when we don't have any data to support that. So I can't support that part of it. I'd like to have a the first part that says the meeting with. Uh, he also, uh, and the appropriate uh, government of Canada officials in order to get some information and maybe to express potential concerns for that. But to say, come out here and say definitely that there is considerable negative impacts, we don't have the data and the information to go along with that. So through the chair, you're asking that question of the mover of the motion? Do I respond to that? Do I have I would submit to you, to you uh, Mr. Ike, and to my colleague, the Councilor Grant, that since we have had the, uh, the, the temporary and interim location of the Port of Entry and CBSA facility and operations at the location where the are the put the bridge in Brookdale, I think we've all been noticed, been told, read, or otherwise, uh, certainly through the community service support, that there has been less activity coming over the bridge. And in fact, the activity continues to be of a concern, but has now been spread east and west. Along, along the shoreline, so. And I think we're gonna, my assumption is based on the, the following. Uh, that when in fact, if, if in fact the location is on the New York State side, then uh, Cornwall Island uh, really becomes, quote unquote, potentially a warehouse for those goods. Simply because the merchandise will flow, again, probably over the waters onto the island. But once they're on the island, they have free access to Cornwall and the rest of the province and the country. That's how that was the assumption. I just submit that for your, for your consideration. Thank you. And we're making a big assumption that the leasing on Cornell Island is not adequate. No, I'm not saying that. Well, no, 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 no. Yes. So, so I, I can't I, support that. So thank you. Councillor Yvette and Councillor Yvette and Councillor Tebow. Thank you, Mr. Regenter. Uh, I had no problem supporting this uh, because we have information from me. I mean, this is not something we brought up here tonight. Being on the police board, we have access to that uh, kind of information that's, that's given to us 
we know what was there before and what was there since. So we're going back to before and there's a big concern. All that we're saying is we're talking about police budgeting all the time. If this does occur, our budget's going to go. So we're just taking precautionary members, uh, precautionary uh, uh, directives to basically talk to uh, the federal government and let them know that we're concerned about this. That's all it is. Because if we don't, then we'll have to come back to council with the uh, with the knowledge of, of the police department, what they've had before, the, the, the activity going on before, is going to come back, and so we're going to have to raise our, our dollars towards policing again. I think it's only being proactive in trying to find out what make sure they, they're aware of our concerns. That's all it is. Thank you. Thank you for this motion, Mr. Mayor. We're a border city. That's how we define ourselves. It's been like that for a long, long time. We have neighbors in Akrasasne. That's part of how we define ourselves as well. We worry about smuggling. That's part of our psyche here. We worry <coughs> about businesses here losing business from our Akrasasne neighbors. That's part of, of what we worry about as a community. This has a huge and personally, it was, it was profoundly disappointing to have to come by this information through a government website and not appropriately through the MP or through the appropriate minister. I'm saying that loud and clear. And I remember, Mr. Mayor, you playing quite a statesmanlike role when this issue first came up, when we as a city were trying to get information, we couldn't get information, um, you know, the whole moving to the Cornwall location, the whole cooperation that we, that we showed in setting up in the traffic circle, the patience that we showed, you played a statesman-like role, and it is time for you to do that again. And I trust that you will, because this is, has an impact on all of us, and it's important for city leadership to be present and to be <coughs> demanding appropriate communication around this issue. Thank you, Your Worship. You're welcome. I guess I, I, I like to speak as long as you like. I'm not going to Okay, thanks a lot. Yeah. I like the motion. I think there's probably some stuff to be added. But from what I understand, uh, our two representatives are coming to us as a result of some discussions I'm sure that have been had at the police board level and with the police service, including the chief over a period of time. And also, I think there, there's a need for us to understand that the Cornwall Police, our, the RCMP, as well as the Aquasasne Police, all work together with some organization called IBET. So there's a fair amount of information that's available right up front as to what's been going on. And uh, I don't think that we need to have any more information. So I can fully support the this situation. We're also in a situation where all of a sudden some decisions have been made by what seems to be two people okay, that met for a drink last week down in the state somewhere and uh, made decisions uh, in a somewhat autocratic way uh, from what I can tell because nobody's been consulted and that includes a whole bunch of people including some phone calls that I got today where we had a whole bunch of uh, total operator employees whose jobs all of a sudden are up in the air that potentially the toll could end up being on the American side instead of the Canadian side as well which you're talking about 15 20 jobs or more uh, that could be displaced as a result so there's all kinds of implications in this situation that have not necessarily been addressed specifically in your motion but I think that there are issues that have to be looked at as we move towards the future and I think it's important for us to continue to make sure that there's an understanding that what's happening is within the borders of the municipality of the city of Cornwall. And as a result, I think it's important for us to be consulted on these issues unless somebody can show me that this is a national crime prevention uh, approach to dealing with this situation which I don't think it is. I was told uh, from all the news reporters that this was a way of enhancing economic s 
strategies between the two countries and opening up borders. And if we're not looking at the issue of uh, crime and, and such initiatives in this area, I think we're missing the boat in the discussions that have been ongoing so far. And I agree, you've done a great job of being a statesman, but I think maybe you need to get in there and kick a little bit of ass as well. Thank you. Well, again, yeah, Mr. Acting Mayor, I look forward to the challenge that you do. Well, to do exactly what the Constitution suggests. But uh, again, the, the, the perspective of the Department of Community and Police Services Board, uh, Councilor Yvette and I have uh, been uh, informed uh, by Chief Parkinson that at no time was uh, police services consulted on this issue. Secondly, with the issue of both, I had in a previous uh, interview recently, uh, as recent as yesterday, with Post Senate Freeport, that uh, indicated that it would be my desire, you know, my option, I would seek my favor. If in fact, if in fact, the decision was ever made to work in the United States, that the toll booth should be there, but not at the exclusion of the employees. Because I've also made it categorically clear that all of the, understand, when you build at the port of entry, it's like an embassy, as I might understand, that becomes Canadian soil, wherever that is located. And that means Canadian contractors, Canadian labor, Canadian content, and if the toll booth is associated in conjunction with that facility, Canadian jobs should remain. And I'll fight tooth and nail to my last breath as a mayor of Cornwall to see if that is the case. Mayor? Okay. I don't think I can improve upon uh, the expressions of my colleagues, so you go. Thank you. So you want to make improvements? <laughs> no, I don't want to improve it. Thank you for the hard work that you've done, Your Worship. And the key to me to supporting this is whereas the city of Cornwall has not been formally advised of any final decision, all kinds of rumors going on out there regarding the location of the permanent port of entry, nor has it been consulted uh, with respect to providing input on the final decision. You know what? They've made decisions and we have nothing to say about the decision. Well, the final decision has to be done is going to affect Cornwall big time. It's going to affect us economically and we need to be part of the decision that's made. I thank you for your work here. Very well so up. No, I think uh, my colleagues uh, for their interventions. I, uh, I understand the, the uh, concerns of the council grant, uh, but uh, I am heartened by the support. I know, notwithstanding the issues that council grant might have expressed, I know he's fully behind the, the best interests of this community. He has that at heart, Scottish or otherwise. And so I, I, I look forward to continuing to raise this issue on behalf of the residents of Cornwall with your support. Thanks. Sure. Well, Those in favor? Thank you.